hundred in your interview, mm. you won't get that. Uh, and uh, making a story of your own or mm. how will you arrange the s that kind of okay. questions were simple. Like they were mostly doing with arrays and strings, I guess. Yeah. My worst subject. How did you handle the worst subject? Uh, the project was which was pay uh, like. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing well. So today in this video we are going to discuss about Accenture. So how to crack placement at Accenture. So today with us uh, we have Hana here. So she has cracked this uh, on campus opportunity and uh, she is going to share how she exactly cracked it, how many rounds were there, uh, difficulties of each round, what are the questions in each round and what should be done from your side so that you can attack this opportunity so without wasting any time let's move forward and welcome Hana here so hey guys let's welcome Hana here hi Hana hi so uh, let's start with your introduction so I'm Hana and I have pursued my BTEC in information technology at Kochi University of Science and Technology uh, I'm from Kannur and Basically, now I'm working as a mobile app developer in UHC Solutions in Infopark Yeah, that's about me. Yes. So, uh, we would like to discuss what the uh, Accenture placement drive which you cracked uh, on campus drive. So, uh, like, we would like to know first uh, how many rounds were there for the company? Actually, there were uh, four rounds. Which one was? First one was Apti technical uh, MCQ questions, then coding mm -hmm. round, mm -hmm. and then we have communication round, sorry, there were five rounds, yeah. uh, and then interview, finally. Uh, okay, total five Which rounds. In communication round, it was like no non-elimination round, it was. Okay, okay. So, like total five rounds, so like mm, they measure or they take all the five round marks or like one by one? Uh, they take all the marks added at first they uh, like when we are doing the active mm. the active is calculated when we are doing the technical the active plus technically is calculated to move to the next stage this okay. is how it works even the communication mark is valued when it comes to the final interview yeah. i mean final role oh that means like even if you have your interview was very good it depends also on your apti and the other rounds yeah, sure. Even though you did your 100 in your interview, mm. you won't get that. Because there is only, a, like everything is valued based on a particular steps. Yep, yep. Understood, understood. I mean, each step is valued equally. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, so let's quickly start with that apti round first. How was the yeah. apti round? Difficulty level and all. Yeah, it was simple, like simple questions uh, from that. What we can do from geeks for geeks and all that in deep box, basic questions. It was not that hard that we couldn't uh, like match up to do or like that. It was simple actually, yeah. and that was uh, about acting. It was like that that circle questions where like when there are A B C D, how will you arrange the S? That kind of questions. Okay. Yes. And yeah, yeah, it was easy question. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, like basically anybody can most of the practice students can do that yeah so if i remember like they also include the code snippets in the apti round right no it was actually in the technical round of the aptitude i i guess it was oh. first first one was aptitude and mm -hmm. then was the technical round okay. in that technical part they were including the code snippets okay okay so they in would... that round mm -hmm. after yes yes carry on. after aptitude they shortlisted and in this technical round, they were like uh, having DBMS questions, basic, whatever we studied in our engineering, basic MCQ kind of questions plus code snippets, mm -hmm. uh, uh, output uh, like that, errors, outputs, that kind of basic simple questions was there. Exactly. So, yeah. uh, so all the computer After fundamentals that, and those code snippets. Yeah. Okay. So, like, if you remember, uh, could you say something about the code snippets? Because that is the one, that is the only hard part in uh, the thing. I think it was loop questions and all. I remember that just output, what will be the output yeah. for that loop question. I also remember it contains some bitwise operators also, right? 
Yeah, I don't remember it, but yeah, kind of that kind kind of, of yeah, kind of. Yeah. They, they make something like that. So, moving to the apti round. After the apti round, what was the next round? It was basically after shortlisting from this, we were moving to the coding round. Okay. In this coding round, we had two questions. Hmm. And the uh, questions were simple like they were mostly doing with arrays and strings i guess yeah yeah there were no complicated questions more than that level yeah exactly yeah i guess so yeah they were basic array question and strings yeah basic array and string question but the only thing is sometimes i don't know how but their compiler itself is not working that much fine yeah there is one more thing uh, when uh, like you have to make sure how you submit because we were, uh, there was a mistake when I did my first Axinger examination. Mm-hmm. I submitted it before. I thought the first code snippet was to be submitted by that submit button. Okay. But actually, it was to be submitted after the two, uh, two codes, actually. Oh, that means so that was the final thing. submit button. We have to read the instructions properly. Uh, yes, yes. Understand. Yeah. We have to read the instructions properly. That's it. Oh, that was the intent. And after thing. that came the. Yeah, first one. <laughs> yeah, I understand. And then came the communication round. Yeah, okay. Okay, so com- communication uh, round. It was like uh, it was held after some days, right? Yeah. So uh, like fifteen days, I guess. Oh, okay. 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 Say so about the communication. And round. yeah, communication round. In communication round, I had like uh, I guess about six rounds of what, hmm. like uh, sp- uh, uh, like reading the paragraph. Uh, repeating the words they say uh, mm. and uh, making a story of your own or like that so many parts I don't remember actually steps but okay. yeah it is about your way of communication uh, yeah they also gave us a topic to discuss in a one minute session or something like that okay so basically we were going throughout the all the communication parts yeah Okay. And after this, your interview, it was your interview, right? Yeah, after this, I guess it was after 20, 30 days, my interview had, I got my interview made. Mm-hmm. And it was like, basically, they only asked about five questions to me, five or six, I guess. It was about my project, mm-hmm. uh, intro, uh, introduction, mm-hmm. my worst subject, okay. how did you handle the worst subject? Okay. Uh, the project was, which was pay, uh, like a, uh, like appreciated by your teachers or any, anyone and if so why and these were the only questions they asked me okay okay understood like well, with a base, base, uh, like very basic kind of interview I would say yeah it was very basic actually nothing much on DSA actually there was one more thing huh? Uh, my interview was actually hacked the was Accenture so oh. it was more simpler okay okay so you are paid for that hacked the Accenture right yeah hacked the Accenture it was an opportunity through hacked the that I got an, an opportunity to write, write the exam oh okay okay so uh, uh, the interview got over and when you got the results then for the interview after the interview after the interview, it was after 30 days or what, I guess. My results were out so late. <laughs> okay, okay, understood. Even uh, the prices are only go- going right now. Even documentation was last day, like that. <laughs> okay, it's still going on. Yeah. Okay, understood. So, uh, coming back to that coding question, right? Uh, so, uh, how many questions did you solve after out of two? Two out of two? Yeah, two out of two. Okay, that's good. So basically, there was also a good percentage that you scored in the coding round, similarly in the apt, and then in the interview. Yeah. That's yeah. why. That's why we were selected. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thank yeah, you. that is the thing. Okay, so like, if you want to say some, uh, all the students who are prepare, preparing for the same. So, what would be your suggestion or advice? Like, I would say be disciplined on doing base, at least basic coding questions like arrays, strings, mm-hmm. work on that. It will help you a lot when you, in, if, when you come to the companies and all. Mm-hmm. So, uh, build your logic at first. That is the thing. It will help you a lot. Yeah, exactly. Prepare yourself. 
and at the same time for the interviews <laughs> interviews it is like confidence your gestures uh the way you make them feel that you are even though it, like more than you you have to show yourself it is the way you how you present i guess yeah exactly <laughs> that is the way. so uh, like anna is someone who has uh, done many faced in our college so yeah confidence is something this uh, that is inbuilt in her so <laughs> <laughs> like yeah it means it will help you a lot be uh, like look at their eyes make sure that they don't feel that you are not not that enough for their company make sure that they need you that's all the thing that you can do exactly exactly 100% true <laughs> so for accenture i think this much is enough if anybody is going to uh, uh, see how we are going to prepare so this much information is enough i guess hope it will help it will help really help it will really help, will really help. <laughs> so, yeah that's it ana thank uh, you thank you for coming thank you thank you